Tonight, the World Series of Bowling rolls on with the final full of heavy hitters. We kick things off with bowling's great one, six-time PBA Player of the Year, Jason Belmonte. Belmo takes on two-time major champ EJ Tackett in the opener of the PBA Scorpion Championship next. Legends, EJ Tackett and the best bowler on the planet, Jason Belmonte, start things off. The Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones in the three-seed spot. Packy Hanrahan goes for win number one, and Anthony Simonson looks to turn the heat up on a certain race. All warm and fuzzy until the ball hits the lane. Bowling out of EZ Bowl in Bluffton, Indiana, 15-time PBA Tour champion, E.J. Tackett. E.J. Tackett making his way to, to the telecast tonight as the number five seed because he was the highest seed that lost in the round of eight. But no, you're right, Rob. I mean, that, that show he put on in the doubles, I mean, he aced every shot he threw. Speaking of acing, the PBA's all-time majors winner bowls out of Orange, 10 pin bowl in Orange, New South Wales, Australia, six-time PBA player of the year, Jason Belmonte. 27 all-time titles, as you mentioned, ninth most all-time, but nobody's won more career majors. 14. Just a little bit early still, dear. Just a little bit early. Yep, I heard it too, Jason. Yep, but he still aced it. Check out that violent ringing 10. This is tough. There's so much energy yeah. in this arena, and this crowd just wants to keep erupting, but... And they love him. What's not to love, right? By the way, I thought Jason handled that really well, right? You, you don't want to drown out this young person's enthusiasm and energy. Just, hey, just, just hold it for a second. Wait till the ball hits the wood and then start yelling and screaming and clapping. I'm not sure PDW would have handled it the same way. What do you think? <laughs> and you know we love PDW, oh but more, I mean, than, more than words can say. Uh, there's Jason's uh, arsenal. He's using. Do you think he would have taken his glasses off when he <laughs> went in for the verbal encounter? Probably. Oh my God. Jason using an IQ tour, at least to start with. Yeah, so he gets his first strike after that opening nine spare. Everything's happening tonight. You know what the beauty of our players is the com the camaraderie, the sportsmanship. As you can take a look at this last strike by Belmonte. I mean, how many times do you see two PGA Tour pros hug it out before they go into a playoff? Or, I mean, they just gave each other knuckles right after that shot. That's what makes these guys, our athletes, so special. Attack it back up, second frame. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure I've ever seen that. That's a new one. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Well, that's something Jason talked to us about today. He said, how many times this week have I said, quote, never seen that before? And here we have it again. The three, four, six, nine. I'm not sure I've ever seen that in 22 years. Come on, EJ. Oh, caught the, caught the oil. There's oil on the outside part of this pattern. You know that lane does that. Gosh. The tremendous power of EJ Tackett, but he gets it just a little wide right, and there's the lane out on the outside part is real slick on both sides. Remember our lone southpaw, Packy Hanrahan. We'll see him a bit later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Don't turn your back on him. Get down! Get down and get in your home! 
Well, let's take a look at this 42-foot scorpion. You can already see that the players are playing pretty deep to start. And if that continues, which I think it will, what's going to happen is you're going to see this kind of action right here, where the players are lofting it to that spot. Could you get a thicker line to show me that, please? I'll Could you take a two by four out on that one. Uh, I'll fix it during the break. <laughs> I'm just glad they don't trust me with that thing. <laughs> Some good producing to keep me away from that telestrator. I'm not sure they trust me with it. Well, nobody said they did. <laughs> Right a target. Right. Oh boy. All right. Yep. And you, you, you're right. You can see it right there. The break point. And let's take a look from up high. This pattern gets a little tricky, especially down lane. You can see that it gets really slick. You get it too far to the right. He's lucky to just leave the two pin. Still up by two, even though it's coming off of an open. <laughs> oh my. Boy, spare shooting is a little. Well, suspect early on, and he's a good spare shooter. There's a lot of holding of your breath here today. All right, EJ Tackett working on a strike and take the lead here in the fourth. Still kind of shaking that one off. Remember his doubles win. He stayed on the right lane the entire time. Never missed the pocket. That never touched the left lane. I got a stat for you. Okay. That leave for EJ Tackett at the at the World Series of Bowling over 4,000 games. No one has ever left that. <laughs> oh, really? What? Oh, come on. Nine pin. <clears throat> Somebody just yelled, come yeah. on, Randy. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah, I left an eight pin, not a nine pin. I remember it vividly. Yeah, that's kind of unlucky. Uh, let's be honest, this is not how we saw the first four and a half, five and a half frames go. This is strange stuff. I mean, Belmo destined for the Hall of Fame. E.J. Tackett well on his way there with 15 tour titles and two majors. The Scorpion oil pattern is having their way with him. How about that strike? Yeah, come on, you can smile, you can smile. What is going on? Well, that was a ball change for Jason Belmonte. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I'll get to it in a second, but watch this hit. Isn't that crazy? That was the eight pin taking yeah. them down. Yeah, that was the eight Falling pin. Falling forward. The eight pin taking down the four and the two. The Scorpion oil pattern was the toughest here at the World Series of Bowling throughout the competition. The lowest scoring pattern. Yeah, the average is about 206. Oh my goodness. Even that one's getting a stare and a smile. Let's take a look at how each player is playing the right lane. Tackett, if you can believe it, is actually playing it farther left, deeper than Belmonte. But Belmonte is also throwing it faster. A little bit farther to the right is the break point of Tackett, but check out where they are at the arrows, and this is game one. 22 for Tackett. Remember, there's only 39 boards across the lane. Already running out of real estate. Uh, yeah, game one. That's why I think they may go to the big loft once it gets late in this <laughs> tournament. There you go. They might, they might go a little Robert Smith on us? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, so you know, Rob, you know what I get asked all the time? How, how do you make the ball hook? How do you make a curve? How do you create power? I want to show you. Check this out. Look at EJ Tackett and look at the bent elbow right here and that wrist right underneath it. Now watch what he does at the release point. 
It's just a straight line right there. It's like throwing a yo-yo, my man. Cup it and uncup it. Oh, no. God, it's too easy. Uh, Check out those numbers. They're identical. And he goes light. It leaves a 2 8 10. Goes both ways, doesn't it? Last time he, he yeah. split that line, he left a solid 9 pin on a double. And now it's a 2 8 10 for Tackett. Makes no sense to me. Oh, oh my! my. Oh, he got the 10. Did the heavy lifting. How did that 8 escape? Second open frame, had one in the second, and another here. Watch this. Wow, how does that miss? Big shot here for Belmonte, can take a 25-pin lead. Working on a double. That's That was actually a ring 10 with the roller, right? Here comes, hey, there's your sign. Yeah, I love that sign. A ringing 10 with a messenger coming across. Yeah, I used to do this a lot, said me never. <laughs> Unreal, some of the, yeah, some of the hits. Boy, that head pin covered a lot of real estate. Yeah, concussion protocol for the head pin. Leads at 25. We begin the eighth. Uh oh. Here we go. Four bagger for Belmo. Leads at 35. Take a look at some of the other finishers here. Chris Fye coming in seventh. Chris Prather, who had a huge win on Fox Sunday in 10th. A guy, Kyle Troop, in 12. Tack it. Oh, really needed that one in the eighth. I mean, that looked like he parted the Red Sea. Just kind of split the pocket wide open. I'll tell you what, when it comes to power, EJ Tackett does not get cheated. Watch this hit. Look at that. Five strikes. Two open frames, one spare for Tackett. See the max scores right underneath the players' names. 213 for Tackett. 248 for Thelma. Back to back. Again, look at the accuracy of EJ Tackett. Driver's seat right here for this guy. Sure is. He was fourth at the World Championship on these two lanes on Sunday. See his eighth all-time World Series of bowling win. It's another strike. Okay. You know what we missed yesterday? Tell me. I, ha I left him in the car. It was my bad. But right now, we've got ourselves. Go on, can I please take my second re -rack? A PAPS six pack alert. They've been waiting. They've been waiting in the trunk for a day and a half, Randy. If Belmo strikes here, he wins $1,500. Sponsored by PAPS Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. I'm sorry, drink Wisconsinably. That's hard to say. It's no? very hard to say. It's easier to show on a t shirt. I bet you that. Uh... The, the paps that you left in the car. I bet it's still cold. Oh, it's ice cold. Come on, Belmo. Crack open that six pack. Belmonte moving on to take on Tommy Jones, the Hall of Famer. He's going to look at a different ball right here to see if he can see a little bit different picture. I think the picture he looked at here at match number one is one of confusion. 
Uh-oh. Now what's he going to do? That was a pretty big move. Look at the lines on... Strike track powered by Kia. Hmm. Now, decisions, decisions. It's good to have options. Tackett rolling out leaves the 10 pin. Again, remember Belmo earlier today telling us EJ Tackett, he's been my biggest rival on tour the last five or six years. Belmo's got one more shot to close out. He's already won this match, and he will take on your three seed, Tommy Jones. Packy Hanrahan's the two seed. Anthony Simonson in the one spot. Mm. Ooh. Well, it's going to be interesting to see when we come back which ball Jason Belmonte decides to go with. If I were to guess, I would say he'd stay with the ball that he used this game. Well, EJ's going to be frustrated by that one. 192 for EJ.